a uniform rod of length l is suspended by an end and is made to undergo small oscillations find the length of the simple pendulum having the time period equal to that of the rod fine so let's say this is my physical pendulum a rod it is fixed like this it is made to undergo a small oscillations so we know the time period of a physical pendulum is given by 2 pi under root of moment of inertia of the physical body about the point of suspension divided by mg l this l is the distance of the center of mass from the point of suspension that is this is my distance l fine now what i have to do is i have to calculate the moment of inertia of the body or of the rod about the point of pivot let's say o is the point of pivot so the moment of inertia about o will be equal to moment of inertia about c plus m l square let's say the total distance is given to me as capital l fine so this will be the moment of inertia and the moment of inertia about the center of mass is given by ml square by 12 plus m small l is equal to capital l by 2 so it will be ml square by 4 comes out to be m capital l square by 3 so i have the moment of inertia now so just substitute this in this equation time period comes out to be 2 pi under root of m capital l square by 3 divided by mg into capital l by 2 So m is gets cancelled. One l is also cancelled. Time period comes out to be two pi under root of two l by c g. Now I have a simple pendulum which is having the same time period, and we know that the time period of a simple pendulum is given by two pi under root of l by g. So two pi is cancelled, and g is also cancelled. So the length of the simple pendulum comes out to be two l by c. This is my answer. I mean the answer shows that 2l by 3 should be the length of the simple pendulum so that it must have the same time period to that of the ball a uniform rod of length l